Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use adjustment layers in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. And adjustment layers are great when you want to add an effect or some sort of um, element within Adobe Premiere Pro across multiple video clips. So let's show an, an example of this working. Let's take this VR glow effect. And let's drag and drop it onto the first video. So here you can see inside the video we've got this VR glow effect and we want to apply that same effect to the second video clip as well. So now we've got the VR effect, the glow effect on both video clips, right? But they're working independently. So if I move to this clip and if I adjust the radius and if I adjust the brightness, you can see the effect that it's having, right? So it's got more of a glow effect here. If I move back to the first clip, it won't have any of those attributes. So when we click on the first clip, it will have its own settings so we can adjust the uh, glow radius and the brightness we can add a glow here as well so we, we're manipulating them independently but sometimes we're working in Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro especially if we're doing some sort of video work where we're filming on the same sort of set or the same content and we just maybe switching between cameras or something like that uh, or cutting up our clips but we want to add an effect to all of the clips on the timeline how do we do that we use the adjustment layer so let's click on this first clip and we'll just right click here and just cut it or just click clear and we'll click on this one and we'll right click and clear as well so we've removed, removed this uh, VR glow and now we want to create an adjustment layer and apply the VR glow to the adjustment layer so let's go into the projects here and we'll right click and we'll go to new adjustment uh, adjustment layer here we'll click OK then we can drag and drop that adjustment layer on the timeline above the video clips and we can drag this out so that it matches the duration of the video clips below and then we can take our VR glow and apply that to the adjustment layer now it will, it will apply that to both video clips below so as we adjust this and we increase the brightness or we increase the glow or decrease it the uh, the glow radius and increase the saturation for example when we scrub across our timeline we can see the glow effect here and it's also applied to the second clip here and then we can adjust the um, the duration so let's say if we put it here you can see there's no glow but as soon as we roll over that adjustment layer the glow effect will be applied and then you can see it being removed as we move off of the timeline or off of the adjustment layer here on the timeline so it's quite an int interesting way of applying effects in Adobe Premiere you can apply multiple effects to this adjustment layer as well so it's not just one thing you can drag you can drag loads of different things so you could go to color correction you can go to lumetri color drag and drop that as well and then you can go into here and go to maybe basic correction and we can adjust the saturation for example or the temperature you know there's some settings in here let's go to saturation so we can increase or decrease the saturation as we increase and decrease that we're doing that to both clips as well at the same time. So this is a basic example of using adjustment layers in Adobe Premiere Pro. It works better when you're filming maybe some content off the same camera or the same setup, but you're cutting between maybe two different cameras or two different clips, and you wanna apply adjustments to both clips or many clips within your timeline. You can imagine how time consuming that would be if you had 20 different video clips here but you just want to apply one effect to all of them all at the same time. So using one adjustment layer, you can go ahead and do that now. So that's how I use adjustment layers in Adobe Premiere Pro to apply multiple effects across multiple video clips on the timeline. Let's minimize this. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. 